Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and this is Small Stuff Big Family. In today's vlog, we are going to Columbia, Missouri for Mark and I to have a romantic getaway. It was so much fun. Be sure to stay to the end of the video because somewhere in this video, there is a giveaway game. You don't want to miss it. Come along with us. Our couple's massage is done. Thanks, babe, for booking that for us. You're welcome. We usually do like once or twice a year or so right but i think usually about like that usually. i think it had been over a year though like we definitely haven't done it since the whole covid thing hit so no, I'd we did that last one we did was it was probably around valentine's day wasn't I it? i think maybe? so yeah i think we did the one in like it was in like st louis county yeah around valentine's day but i love getting a massage mark i think like the last two times he's had some interesting <laughs> experiences yeah. what was she doing to you babe i kept hearing like snapping and like slapping and <laughs> let's just say it was the most interesting massage i've ever had i don't know um uh, like what was she doing i i honestly don't know what the fuck she's doing at one point. <laughs> you, can't, can't... you can't cut okay sorry Beep. i honestly didn't know what she was doing at one point, I kind of asked myself that, and I almost started laughing in the middle of the massage because well, like, it what? was not enjoyable whatsoever. There, I the whole time. Like sometimes, like I've had a couple of good massages, like where you feel so relaxed you almost fell asleep. The yeah. last one was definitely not that, and this one was this was by far the worst. I will say that. Are you <laughs> yeah, by Mine far was... the worst massage I've ever had in my life. Like what made it so bad? It felt more like she was like pinching and like I, I i don't know i could show you if you'd like I mean, no. if you'd like to be tortured i could show you i mean it was the snapping was her like you know like they do that every once in a while, like when they do your fingers you know and it pops i guess like when they pull your fingers you've never had them do that i've had them do that to me a couple different times mine didn't snap so like, at me no <laughs> well hers was like ridiculously loud and then like at the end like at the end all of a sudden she starts like smacking my legs and smacking <laughs> smacking my feet and i'm like then she then she uh, rolled over to smacking up here i'm like lady you smack one place in general you're gonna get decked i was about done with her already and then she kept getting phone calls you know which is, i mean yeah you paid for an hour massage that was kind of annoying she, and she took two phone calls mm -hmm. in the middle of my massage i yeah. mean that's why you said something about leaving a tip. I'm like, well, I hope I'm thinking to myself, we're split it. I should have just gave it to the other lady that you had because she did good for you. And the whole time I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, this was mainly for you for part of your birthday. And I'm like, I hope hers is at least good because this is, if hers is anything <laughs> like this, I almost felt like bad that I got you a shitty gift. I'll put it that way. In her defense, I heard her say at the very beginning, is the pressure okay? And you said, yeah. And you did the same thing with the last guy. The the last time and you had the guy that was it wasn't so much it wasn't the it wasn't a pressure issue well, why though. don't you just i don't understand that like if somebody was hurting me i would say what you're doing right now hurts <laughs> like why do you just you don't have to like just let them keep doing it if it hurts i don't like going to people's work and telling them their job i'm gonna it that way i feel like she should know what the f <laughs> to be i feel like she should know what she's doing or she shouldn't be doing it Honey. If I had to go to work and somebody had to tell me how to do my job, then I shouldn't be doing the job. That's the way I feel. Maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way, but the pressure wasn't the issue. I mean, I don't, other than describing, I was sitting there because I knew you were going to ask me this question. What was so bad about it? And I'm sitting there thinking about it. It felt more like she was trying to, I mean, tenderize a piece of meat. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> Mine was really nice. I really like my favorite part of massage is like when they do the hands. I like I feel like I like all the weird places like that you wouldn't really think about when you get a massage. I really like when they do your hands. I like around my ankles. That's like one of my favorite places. And then I like when they do your head. Oh my god, like to have like my head like in her like basically like she has her fingers like this and like dig in her fingers like pressing, you know, putting pressure like on the back of your head like the back of your neck where like your weight is up against it and everything too it feels so good to me did she take a tissue at any part of your massage she did not a take tissue? a tissue <laughs> i swear to god this well, lady took out a tissue. tissue she massaged me with a tissue okay seriously <laughs> after she got done unless she was trying to wipe she, and she 
I thought her hands were, it, I mean, usually they like, put like oils in their hands. Like I even heard your lady say this could be, you know, cold or whatever. Yeah. No, I don't think she used anything. What? I really don't. You never felt like oils Not or Not one bit. Not even a slightest. It felt like her hands were dry. And I think that's another reason why it was kind of uncomfortable because obviously I have a hair on my back and when she'd rub over it, it almost felt like it was pulling my hair and... That was bizarre. Now I'm starting to feel like maybe I should just buy them for you. <laughs> and I'll sit in the car and wait. Let's go into the hotel. <laughs> I think not. It's a really big shower. Sweet. Was yummy, so good. My was, second favorite part of the whole trip. So oh, honey, shut up. Was that better than the massage? <laughs> was dinner better than was dinner better than the massage, honey? Honey, there wasn't too many things that were not better than my massage. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna go do axe throwing, which neither one of us have ever done before. So we were supposed to go to a basketball game. Oh yeah which was canceled by COVID. So we decided, we were talking about doing this when we were at uh, Arkansas. Yeah, we've been talking about doing this for a while now. Actually, didn't I get you tickets for this or something and we never used it? No, I know you're talking about that though. I was thinking about the other day, it was for, it wasn't for accidents. It was I mean, for like was, smashing yeah, stuff. Yeah, like smashing stuff. Yeah, and we never used it. <laughs> we kept talking we were gonna do it on a date night and we never did it. We never did it, I wonder if it's still there. I don't even know where the tickets would be. It's on place. It was on Groupon. Was it? Yeah. Anyway. You still have it? I don't know. You could look it up and see if it's still good. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So we were we're talking about go. doing this before, so I thought it was a good substitute. You know, throw some axes. Is that how throw you do it? Throw some axes. Like that? Go throw some axes with the old battle axe like here. <laughs> yeah, nice, buddy. Was that right on the bullseye? Was that on the bullseye? Yeah.
Good morning. We are getting ready to leave. I just got done curling my hair. I got this like chi spinning curl, I think is what it's called. Um, hair curler for Christmas. Tell me if you guys would want to see like a review on this curler. I'm really loving it, but it's a little bit tricky to get used to. Um, and people like when I first got it, I was a little bit worried about like getting your hair stuck in there. Like what would happen if it does? So I could talk you guys through that if anybody's interested. So comment below if you want me to do that. We've got like 16 minutes to get out of here. So we're going to finish packing up. My honey's already dressed and waiting on his woman. As usual. Story of your life. <laughs> I'm wearing my new shirt that my mommy got me on our shopping vlog, if you saw that. If you missed it, go check it out. It was a lot of fun shopping with my mama. And then just my Pistola jeans that I got from Stitch Fix and my new Leopard flats that I got from our H&M shopping trip too. Always with a pair of sunglasses on top of my head. That's my thing. And then I've got my bracelet from our honeymoon in Nashville. My um, bracelet from when we went to the Gateway Arch. And then whenever I curl my hair, I usually just wear like smaller earrings. I don't know why, I just feel like it looks, I love like my big leather like dangly earrings, but I feel like it looks like a little bit much when my hair is curled. Right, honey? Like you're right. trying too hard, you know? A little too hard. Can you relate? <laughs> so relatable. I don't usually wear my dangly earrings either. <laughs> Show me your outfit, honey. You're wearing your new hat from hat. Christmas, Ariat, your Ariat vest that you've had for a little while, your new pullover that's Ariat from my mama. Are the jeans Ariat as well? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> and boots. Are the boots Ariat? Nope. Not this pair. Not that pair. Oh. Everything but the boots and your boxers are area. <laughs> I if they make boxers, I'll check into that. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna finish fixing my hair <laughs> and um, getting packed up, and then we're gonna go get some breakfast before we head home. So let's go. Made it with four minutes to spare. <laughs> In the car, he's going to check out. I am so full. Like, that was a lot of food. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> and Mark ate like half of my hash browns and a few bites of my pancakes too. So, that was good though. What's the plan now, babe? This will go by Orchlands and see if we can find the gift from my father for his birthday. Find him some jeans at the country ass store. The country store. <laughs> Okay. Mark's determined to find something that I would wear. I think this is it. <laughs> Technically, it's an international harvest harvest harvester. 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 Technically, it's international harvester. So we're gonna say that that counts. I think that's what I'm gonna get. Honey, feel the inside of this vest and tell me you wear that. That is really soft. I just don't know. Like, what would I wear underneath it? Clothes. <laughs> See? Clothes. Uh huh. Yeah, but I don't have anything like what you're wearing underneath yours. You don't have any long sleeve shirts? I mean, I do. It's not hard to find a shirt for underneath the vest. I'm still going with the chicken and waffles. <laughs> huh? Here's another contender. Hold up that one that you had just a second ago. I think you dropped it on the ground, babe. This is the other. This is the one I think she should get here. This is the one Mark thinks. <laughs> wear that with our grandkids here in a few years. <laughs> in a few years. Honey. <laughs> 10 or 12. Better not. Or this one. Always yours. What do you think about that one? <laughs> I'm not really sure you can pull that off. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that's not bad. Going to a Mizzou game. Yeah, that's cute for Mizzou colors. We're on our way home. We got our diet sodas. Our big diet sodas. Our big old diet sodas. Big old, big old sucker. <laughs> Mark got me a scratch off, but I didn't win. I didn't scratch mine. He has not scratched his. It's not about her scratching, but. This is the fat wallet. And mine was, wallet. mine was pretty. 
It's mine, but I didn't win. Mm. Maybe I'll win, honey. Maybe you'll win for the both of us, honey. You'll take all my money anyway. I never win at Scratchers, I don't know why. I if I win, if I win anything, it's like a ticket, like, or like the price that the actual ticket cost. I won a couple hundred dollars before, but never like. I've never won that big. I won a hundred dollars, like a hundred dollars even, like several times. We're headed home and we're gonna play a game on the way home. This is a game that Mark actually thought up on the way up here. So if you stay to the end, then bonus for you. So you get to give this a try. This is our first time we're gonna try it. If it goes over well, if you guys like it, then we will like pop it in future vlogs here and there. So how the game is going to work is we are just gonna put on a song and I will sing and dance to it like I normally would in the car and I'll cut all of the sound out. So you guys will have to guess without any sound what song that we're listening to. So it doesn't have to be like the exact song title. Um, you know, I'm not gonna be super particular with that as long as I can tell that like, yes, you know the song that I was, we were singing to. Um, and then the giveaway, and then the prize for the giveaway is going to be $10. I can either Venmo you $10 or uh, do like a $10 Amazon gift card that I can email you. For this first one, we're going to say that the winner is going to be the person that answers with the correct song first. We might do it differently in the future. We just are kind of testing it to see how it goes. Um, we did do it like a trial run on our Instagram stories last night and three people were able to guess the song correctly. So I don't think it's gonna be too terribly hard, but if for some reason nobody guesses the song correctly after the first 24 hours, I'll leave a clue on my community tab. If you guys have any ideas on like how to make it better or have any other suggestions for it um, to improve, so like leave that in the comments too, let me know. So we're just trying this out. We thought it would be kind of fun for you guys. Um, so, yeah, let's go. Comment down below if you know what song it is, and then I will message the first person to guess it correctly and get some contact information so that I can send you your prize, either $10 Venmo or $10 to Amazon, whichever one you prefer. We are home sweet home we're gonna let the horses out and then we've got another video that we're gonna film that you guys will see after this one you'll see that one on friday hi babies we're home where's murphy there's phoebe in the barn. i can barely see phoebe <laughs> tiny little thing the puppies are glad we're home hi phoebe did you miss us did you boobies That is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed coming along with us. Thank you so much for being here and watching, and I hope that you have an amazing day. I will see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.